Hello, welcome back to the Reflecting Redemption YouTube channel. It is a brand new month here, the month of May, and this month we are going to be talking all about the call of motherhood and what God has put on our hearts as mothers and how we are to live that out each day. Specifically today, it's just going to be an introductory devotional to say, Happy Mother's Day to you. So before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That really helps us out and it's totally free to you. Hit the bell if you want a notification whenever we post a new video. And also be sure to check out the description box. It will link to a blog post over on our reflectingredemption.com blog. You can go read that, check it out, and it's definitely a great share on Mother's Day, if there's somebody that you are thinking of that maybe this whole devotional pertains to or somebody that it would touch, then feel free to share that along. All that said, let's jump into the devotional today, which is God's call on a mother's heart. And I specifically want to focus on the wide range of moms that are out there in the world. And don't click away if you're not yet a mom because this is for you as well. The call to motherhood is not just for those who have seen a positive pregnancy test and brought a child into the world. The call of motherhood is something that goes beyond that. Um, the call of motherhood is to take in, nurture, and raise the children in our lives. So this call of motherhood could be in your season for nieces and nephews. It could be for your Sunday school class at church or your preschool class or your high school class. It could also be for your own children or it could be for um, foster children or it could be for any uh, different circumstance that you could think of in a way that you are called to nurture and to care for children. So today I just want to say happy Mother's Day to you, no matter who you are or what your walk of life looks like. If you're the woman that has the slew of kids that everybody looks sideways at in the grocery store and says, gee, you got your hands full. Happy Mother's Day to you. You're doing an awesome job out there and I love seeing your big family. If you're the mom who has way less kids than she ever thought she would, maybe you've hit struggles, maybe something's gone wrong, Happy Mother's Day to you. If you're the mom like me whose motherhood journey was a call to adoption. Happy Mother's Day to you. We are moms and dads. We are called to nurture and care for our little ones. Even though they didn't come through us, they came to us. But Happy Mother's Day to you. If you're a mom that is hurting this year from the loss of a child, a miscarriage, or a stillbirth, Happy Mother's Day to you, whether it was infant loss, whether if it's pregnancy loss or adoption loss, my heart goes out to you and I hope that you can find peace this Mother's Day knowing that the Lord has you in his hands. If you're the mom in a tiny house with lots of big love and big emotions, Happy Mother's Day to you. Wherever you are in your walk, in your motherhood journey, Happy Mother's Day. Enjoy this day, this month, and enjoy the fact that God has called you to be a mother. No matter where we are, as nurturing women, we are mothering um, those around us, those children in our life, whether it be our little nieces and nephews, our big children that we have already halfway raised, whether it's the kids at church, the kids at the park, um, you're opening snacks, you're being present, you're listening to what they have to say, you're playing games, and you are rotating wardrobes, you are doing all of the things, the mundane things, you are taking care of their clothes and 
matching up their socks and picking up their toys every day. You're being there. You are there for them. And that's what God has called you to do. If you're a working mom, a stay at home mom, or some sort of hybrid version of the two, because it's 2022 and we can work from home now, whatever it is, whatever your life looks like, happy Mother's Day, because you are an extension of God's hand to the children in your life. You are caring, nurturing, and helping them each day. So be encouraged in your journey that God sees you and he loves you. And no matter where you're at, if you are desperately hoping for that first child or that second child or that 10th child, if you are struggling with infertility, or if you're on your sixth pregnancy in a row, wherever you might be on that spectrum, God sees you. And all of our journeys are meant to be unique in motherhood. We aren't carbon copies of each other. We are unique on purpose and for a reason. The way we mother is unique and different. Some of us are more stern. Some of us are more um, relaxed. And there is a whole spectrum of personalities and people that are mothers. There are so many moms in the world and we're all different. But God has called us to be different and to lean on each other for help and for hope and to lean on him for help and for hope. So enjoy this Mother's Day and spend that extra minute with your precious little people or your your grown up kids, they might be in their 30s and 40s, wherever you are, whoever you are listening to this. I hope that you will know that God sees you and loves you and that he has called you to be a mom. It's more than just a biological function. It's a calling on the heart. It is a belief in your heart that you are meant to nurture and to care for the people around you, and especially the children that God gives you. If you're still waiting for that child, please know I'm standing with you and praying for you. And I hope you enjoy your Mother's Day. First Thessalonians 5 24 says, faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. So if God has put that calling and that desire to, to be a mother in your heart, then he will see it through. You can trust in the faithfulness of God. And if that means that he's called you to have a large amount of children, a small amount of children, adopt children, foster, however that might look in your life, he is a faithful God that has called you to it. And you're there for a reason, a specific purpose. So trust in him. And let's all just be thankful today that God called us to be mothers. We are so blessed to fill that very important role in our children's life. And I praise God for it because my son is such a wonderful blessing. And wherever you are in your journey with motherhood, know that God has you in his hands and there is greater joy ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with a friend if you think they would enjoy it. Be sure to check out today's blog post and I will see you next week. Bye.